Hello everyone, welcome to Senshu Math 2014 Part 2. And in the part 2, first is by assuming a circle that have the equation of x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus plus 6y plus 8 equals 0. Number 1, find the coordinates of the center of a circle. Okay, so from this, uh, you know this equation of the circle actually form a general circle equation. Okay, you should familiar with that. And from this general, actually circle have three general equation. But in this form, to find the center, you just have to use this just simple formula. So minus half of minus 4 and minus half of 6, which is essentially 2 point minus 3. So this is the center of the circle. And you can find the radius, which is just this simple formula for this general formula. Okay a squared plus b squared over 4 and minus c okay so a squared here is 16 plus 36 which is 52 minus 4 is 13 so 13 minus 8 is root 5 so the radius is root 5 okay now number 2 the equation of the tangent at a point 3 point minus 5 on the circumference is so basically it is said that there's a circle this is the circle equation so imagine this is the circle there's the tangent here at the point of 3 point minus 5 the question asks us to find the equation of this tangent line so basically we just have to use another formula if we have this form and you ask to find a tangent line the equation of the tangent line that happens in this point, you just have to use this formula. Uh, x1, x plus y1, y, y1 times y, plus half a, x1 plus x, plus half b, y1 plus y, plus c equals 0. Okay, so x1 point y1 is actually the, the point or the coordinate of the tangent line. And as we know, that is 3 point minus 5. And just remember that we have a minus 4, right? And then b is 6 and c is 8. So we just have to put it the numbers there. So 3x minus 5y plus half times minus 4, which is minus 2. Minus 2, x1 is 3 plus x plus half b, which is 6, so 3 y1 is minus 5 plus y, and then c is plus 8, okay? And from here, you just open the uh, equation, and you get x minus 2y minus 13 equals 0, okay? So this is the formula to find the equation of the tangent line at a certain point if you have this as your general equation. There's actually another formula for circle equation, uh, but for this question, they ask us in the form of this. Okay, for number three, it says that let there be a point of R, one point minus six. The scalar product of the two vectors of QP and QR is what? So basically, P is the center of the circle, right, from the first question, and we got that is two point minus three. And the point Q is just the tangent point in the circle, just three point minus five. So basically, now we are like, uh, connecting the points with it Q and P, so it's like become a vector line, okay? So between 3 point minus 5 and 2 point minus 3, and then from QR2, so QR is 1 point minus 6. So we just have to find the scalar product, and for that, we have to form the vector of QP. Now for that, you just have to subtract the X coordinate with the Y coordinate. So basically 3 minus 2 is 1, minus 5 minus 3, Minus 5 minus minus 3, which is minus 2. And then QR is 3 minus 1, which is 2. Minus 5 minus 6, which is 1. Okay? And for the scalar multiplication here, you just have to make it this way. If this is the coordinate form, we just multiply the same coordinate. 2, 1 times 2 is 2. And then minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. 
is zero. So this is the value of the scalar product. And now for the second question there, what is the tangent of P R Q? So basically you're still using that question. Now that is like form a triangle, but we have to find the tangent of P R Q is this. So now what we have to do is to find this distance and use the cosine law, right? Now this is the distance from PR, just remember that the distance of the from point to point is just this x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And for this PR, let's say this is minus uh, x2 and x1, 2 minus 1 squared, 2 minus 1 squared is 1, and then minus 3 minus minus 6 is 3 squared, 9. So this is root 10. And then from QR here, that will be 3 minus 1 squared, uh, 4 minus 5 minus minus 6, just 1. So this is root 5. And then QP is 3 minus 2 squared, which is 1, minus 5 minus minus 3 squared, which is 4, which is root 5. Now we have this triangle here, and we just have to find the angle R. We could actually find that using the cosine formula. So we want to find the angle R squared the side in front of that equals the square of the two sides beside the angle 5 plus 10 minus 2 times the side root 5 root 10 cosine r because that's what we want to find right so 5 is 5 equals 15 minus 2 times the root of 50 you know that root of 50 is 5 root 2 so essentially 2 times 5 root 2, which is 10 root 2, cosine r. So this is, we make there, so 10 equals 10 root 2, cosine r. So cosine r is 1 over root 2. And for angle r that fulfill this, r is 45 degrees. So basically the tangent of PRQ, which is 45 degrees, the answer is 1. Okay, so for that is for the... Question 3, and yeah, that is for the Sensual Math 2014, Part 2.